Today in this video, we're going to talk about how to get a USDA loan to build a house. What's all the talk about this construction of perm loan that the USDA have? Check it out to get the details. Now, as far as a construction of perm is concerned, let's talk about this for just one second. I want you all to understand how the government and the lenders work. A lot of times you have people in policy in the U.S. government. They work in the policy department. Okay. And I'm not trying to talk bad about anybody, but nine times out of 10, a lot of these so-called policy makers have no idea what's really going on on the streets. A lot of these policymakers have been in these positions for years. Maybe they used to originate. Maybe they used to be a processor. Maybe they used to do mortgages 99 years ago, but they haven't done anything recent. So for them, they operate in a bubble. Okay. So they'll come out with guidelines and these guidelines may not really work. So what I want you to understand is just because it's in the guidelines doesn't mean that there's a lender that'll do it. Let me say that again. Just because there are guidelines in, the, in, the, in their handbook, there doesn't mean that there's a lender who will do it. Okay? It's just, it just doesn't happen that way. Okay, so I have seen there's a lot of misinformation out here about the construction of perm USDA loan. Okay, there's a lot of misinformation. This, I underwrit, I was an underwriter for USDA for many years. That's all I did was USDA loans. You know, before that, I've done FHA, VA, conventional. I still do a lot with loans. I don't originate loans. Again, don't y'all call me about originating no loans. Y'all call Matt or whoever, okay? So let me say this. You've got these people that write these guidelines that have no idea what's really going on out here in the market. So... When USDA came out with this so-called construction of perm loan, which I have never seen one closed. Let me give you a caveat to that. I have seen the only time I have seen this construction to perm work per the guidelines is we've had people who went to Clayton Homes, which is well here in Tennessee, here in Tennessee, Clayton Homes is the preferred uh, manufactured home dealer. Okay. So they went to Clayton Homes and the lender, you know, the lender was cool with this. They went to Clayton Homes. They got a home. The people already own the land. I can't say this enough to you. The only ones I've ever seen closed, the people already own the land. Okay. So then Clayton brought the home out, set the home, set the home up and everything. And, and then we did, uh, then they did one loan to, um, uh, move the land with the house okay and that's how we did and then usda guaranteed that long i've only ever seen it done on a manufactured home maybe i'm just the weird little outlier here but i've never seen it done any other way now i do know and i will link in the description to uh the list of lenders who supposedly do this construction of perm loan. It's a short list and not all of them lend in every state. They don't. Now I will say I have seen loans from, uh, you'll see a lender on that list. First signature lending. I do believe it is. I think they were out of Indiana. Uh, I've seen, I've seen them do some loans, uh, that, that actually did the construction of perm and they're the only lender that I've seen. And they were doing that in Indiana. I don't know if they, all I saw was that the loan, they had actually done some, had some closings. I didn't get to see the file. I didn't underwrite that file. So all I'm telling you is I've seen out of the millions and millions and millions of USDA loans that I have seen come across, whatever they've done. Maybe they had done maybe a handful of maybe a hundred over the life of this program for the construction of the perm. And it was just that one lender and it was just in one community or several communities right there in Indiana. It was not nationwide. So please keep that in mind when you're looking at trying to do this construction of perm loan with USDA. Okay. So these policymakers put these programs out and they say that, yeah, USDA, we will do a one-time close 
for a lender who wants to do a construction of perm loan where supposedly you can buy the land and get the house built and then and, and they'll finance all of that and then they'll roll it all together into one loan and then you just have that one loan and it'll be backed by the USDA. The problem is the lender. I need for you to understand that in those guidelines, they put all the onus on the lender. I saw some real bad information that was being put out on another video. Um, said that you have to use a USDA approved contractor. Let me let you know this right now. There is no such thing. No such thing. USDA does not approve builders or contractors. That's They don't do that. That's up to your lender. So don't go around thinking, calling folk, oh, are you a USDA approved builder? Are you a USDA approved contractor? There's no such thing. People putting out misinformation, misinformation all over the place. There's no such thing. They leave that up to the lender. The lender has to approve the builder or the contractor by whatever means they determine. Because ultimately, you need to understand the USDA believes ultimately this is the lender's loan. This is not a USDA loan. This is the lender's loan. And USDA just guarantees it. Just guarantees that lender that if if you do, if you cross all your T's, dot all your I's on this loan, okay, according to our guidelines, and then these people default, we'll pay you back. But that's all USDA does. So there are no such, there's no such thing. Let me say it loud for the people in the back. There's no such thing as a USDA approved contractor or builder. They don't do that. That's all on the lender. So again, you need to know what qualifications does that lender. And remember, there's only a handful of them that are doing this construction of perm loan. What are their guidelines? What do they require of that builder or that contractor? Do they have to be, uh, I would assume they'd have to be licensed. Do they have to be bonded? Is there a certain amount of the bond that they have to hold for each property? Do they have to have a proven track record? A building and closing on time? I don't know. I don't know. You need to ask that lender. And let me let me just say this. If you if you call up one of these lenders on this list and they don't know what you're talking about, they have no idea about this construction of perm loan, that's because they haven't done any. And if y'all understand, just because the guidelines say they can do it, don't mean people are doing it. People are not doing this loan. They've had this out for years, y'all. This is not new. Just because you're just now hearing about it don't mean that it's new. It's been out. It's been out for years. We just, USDA has not had hardly anyone to do this loan because of the complexities to it. Because again, they're putting all the liability back on the lender. So think about it. If you're the lender and you want to start doing these construction of perm loans, okay, but all of it's on you. So if the builder's bad, the contractor's bad, something happens, it's all on you, and you're not going to get that loan guarantee. So then you stuck holding this non-performing loan. So who's that a reflection on? That's a reflection on you. That's a reflection on that lender. You see what I'm saying? Because then they're like, well, I don't want this liability. Why would I want this liability? Look, the time I'm going to spend with you doing this construction of perm loan, I could probably close five, six, seven, ten other loans at the same time and make more money. So again, y'all have to understand there is no real incentive for the, for the lender. So that's why a lot of them, they may do a lot of USDA loans, but they don't do the construction of perm because they looked at it. They looked at the guy and they said, nah, I'm going to pass on that. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just going to keep doing what I do. You remember the, People don't like to learn stuff that they think is going to be hard. And that goes for lenders and everybody else too. So just because the guidelines say, this is, this is how it is, that don't necessarily mean you got a lender who's going to take you up on that. It's just not going to happen like that. Let me talk again about the water situation, okay, with the house. And this is for all lenders. I don't know of any lender that will build or lend on a dry house. A dry house has no water. Okay. I, you know, I'm sorry. I've been told I came off too harsh on my land video, which I'll link above. I'm too harsh because I just said, where's the water? 
Where's the electricity? You know, everybody, if you're in a rush to run out there and buy a landlocked piece of land that you can't do nothing with, fine, go for it. I'm just trying to tell everybody else what you got to look for when you go to do this land. Okay. Because no lender in the world that I know of will lend on a dry house. That means a piece of land without water. Now, you know, I'm, I'm just talking about right here in, the, you know, lower 48 in my area. Like I've watched some videos and I've watched some shows where like in Alaska, they had a water truck in, you know, every once and again, or they use the bucket to catch the snow and everything. That's an exception to the rule. I'm talking about if you right here, you right here, you in Tennessee, you in Illinois, you in Georgia, you right here, right? I've never seen a lender bill, I mean, lend any money on a dry piece of land or a dry house. I just haven't seen it. Maybe that's something new. Maybe something I don't know about, but I'm just telling you, you got to have water. You've got to have water. And the same thing for USDA. They won't lend on a dry house. So when you're looking at that construction of perm loan, right? And you're thinking, okay, well, all I got to do is just find some land and everything. And then this, they're going to do all this. No, that work is still on you. I need for y'all to understand this. If you're looking at, even if you found a lender or let's say first signature says, says to you, yeah, you know what? We will do that construction of perm USDA loan for you. Okay. Again, that land that you want them to package all this with and put your house on, it's got to have water. It's got to have electricity. I, I have never heard of a mortgage company to pay to develop raw land for you. I just haven't. I might be missing some. If I am, y'all let me know. Y'all let me, if there's a lender out there that will, that will do all that development for you to get the, the water and the electricity and get it perked and all of that, then, hey, give me a holler because I got plenty of people I can put in that. I can, I can sell today. We got plenty of people that need that. But otherwise, listen, these lenders are not going to take on that liability for you. Again, my name is Rhonda Burgess, and I'm a real estate broker and mortgage underwriter here in the Nashville, Tennessee area. If you need help with buying or selling a home here in Nashville, I'd be glad to help you. My number, you can reach me at any time at 615-554-0832. Thank you, and as always, have a blessed day.